and how you guys doing today welcome to the show today is not going to be any biker news last episode i brought up a deal where Nath national geographic was going to do a spot on bikers first and foremost to the sons of silence it was not Bohr's fault that any of this went down. He was just going off of what I had to say that I was being told by them. So it ain't Bohr whatsoever's fault for this clip I'm going to show you. When I seen it, I was disgusted. Talk about feeling betrayed. When I took on this request from National Geographic, I had it in my mind that finally somebody's going to tell the real story when it comes to motorcycle clubs. They're not going to tell a story like a gangland would I didn't think that they would feature cartel members next to one of the oldest 1% clubs in the Midwest and one that I have the utmost respect for because J.R. Reed founded NCOM The crew, producers, directors, assured me that the club was going to be able to get their side of the story out. Assured me. Because this conversation took place over a period of time. And once I was convinced, that's when I reached out. My part in it was reaching out to clubs that might like to be interviewed by Mariana Van Zeller. Somebody I thought had integrity because of all her journalistic work that she did. After seeing this, man, I'm so pissed right now, of the season of trafficked I was outraged here we go where we go here okay here it is is that your security guard behind you the gun behind you that's not the gun that's not a gun what is it I won't ask you again then you want to have to. They or you? As a journalist, if I'm trying to get into these clubs and see how they operate. I would say good luck. It's the military. They're covering their faces, which is never good. How often is it that you have cameras filming? Never. Do you think there's a, a race war coming? I hope so. Are you a Nazi? <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it all my life. I do it till I'm laid in the casket. It seems to me like there's a fire spreading. Do you think it's too late to stop this? Well, everybody involved is making money. So it goes really deep. Do you work with the cartel? I might sitting up there. Do you trust these people? They look at you as prey. It's more like you to ask the questions. They're leaking the whole empire. We gotta move, we gotta move. The black market will be here as long as the legal market keeps screwing up. Yeah, I think you guys can see while, uh, why uh, this one has got me so pissed. Has me pissed. How could you take 
the trust for one and an agreement of the scope of the subject and throw it out the window so you can get access here's one thing that you screwed up on you had a chance if you did this the right way give the club side of the story with all out all this drama crap to be able to have more stories in your future instead you had your people straight up bullshit us unfreaking real i guess it is a different time period it's modern now people don't go by word anymore you can't trust anybody like you used to you just can't you can't have a gentleman's handshake and an agreement without it being taken to a level it shouldn't have been taken to what i just seen is disgusting for one we weren't even told that this was going to be a part of a series like that we thought it was a standalone just talking about clubs why weren't we even informed of that People with honor don't do something like that. We even talked about, hey, let's invite you to NCOM so you just see all the clubs getting together and it's not all what the cops have to say. You had a chance at that. But what do you do? Now, I have to admit, I haven't seen the episode. It's going to be episode three. I guess the series premiere is December 1st. So I don't know if they're going to put all the series out at once or if it's week after week how they do it. I don't know. It's series three. But from what I've seen with this teaser, God knows what the hell you're going to put out. Now I understand you have to get cop side of the story. But you also, I hope, got the club straight up story. You were treated like a guest. Where you didn't have to worry about nothing. And you took that trust and broke it. Now, somebody that, that, that's words means a lot to me. You put a blemish on that. I have to ask, what kind of person does that? Phone calls, emails, nothing has been returned. Why? I thought there was going to be a private viewing of the episode. There is no more integrity in journalism. None whatsoever. Insane Throttle has cut all ties with any media deals that we had after this. From now on, we'll do our own production stuff. Again, we have cut all ties, this company, with any media organization. We will no longer participate in the planned reality series that was coming up. That was canceled out by the attorney. We'll produce it ourselves. 
having a chance to get an inside look of somewhere nobody ever does. And you wonder why. Clubs do not talk to you people. We should have been told, hey, this is the part of the series it's going to be with. We should have been told that. Hey, you're going to be a part of this big series. This is what she does. Okay, cool. At least they would have had a chance to say, go pound sand. And everybody wouldn't be taken off guard by this. Yeah, I'm a little tongue-tied today because uh, my... Uh, Blood pressure is going right now. Because this very incident showed why people do not trust you. Do not trust the media whatsoever. It's always about an angle. Why can't it be about both sides of the story without you having to give an opinion? Or making everything drama. Why can't you let people tell their stories? A sad state of affairs, it really is. That one was a kick in the balls. And what you did to him was screwed up. But I did want the sons to know that it wasn't Boar. It was me. They came to me. They sold me a bill of goods. Made, you know, packaged it up really good. And they turned around and did what they did. I always believe, unlike the mainstream media that you take responsibility. The mainstream media won't do it. Why, I don't know. I guess it's against their interest. Why, well, I don't believe that. I believe when you're wrong, you're wrong. You admit you're wrong. You don't sit there and try to cover this or cover that up. No. It's real easy to say, hey, I was wrong. I screwed up. But you media personnel will never do that. And I think that's one thing you guys lost from your college years was etiquette. Because a lot of you in the media, your etiquette sucks. And I'm embarrassed. Literally, personally embarrassed that I even went along with what you were saying. I should have seen right through it. But because I wanted the the rights of clubs and clubs to tell their story to come out on a huge platform like National Geographic, I fell for the crap. So again, my apologies go out to the Sons of Silence. Don't hold, don't hold anything over Boar because it wasn't him. He was just going off of what I said. And I was going off of what they said. Which, hey, lesson learned on that one. Lesson learned. There's a lot of good, hardworking guys in that club that you got to sit down with, break bread with. And you did that. Unreal, man. Unreal. I'll put the link to the trailer in the description box. That way you guys can see it a lot more better. See where I'm coming from. And you can bet your ass that we'll never work with a media company again. It's nothing but insane throttle TV on Roku now. We'll do all our stuff over there. We'll fan fund it, whatever we're doing, but we're not going to go with no mainstream. Not anymore. 
I'm out. Follow that insane throttle radio app and listen to the hottest modern rock on the planet. No commercials at all. Just art rock and roll, baby. Download the insane throttle radio app for Android now on Google Play. Rock on.